The purpose of this experiment was to demonstrate Le Chatelier's principle by creating stress on a reaction of the acid-base indicator bromothymol blue. Bromothymol blue is blue when basic and yellow when acidic and green when neutral. Le Chatelier's principle states that a stress on a system at equilibrium will cause the system's equilibrium to shift left in the direction that relieves the stress. In our experiment, we use the addition of either an acid, 0.10 molar HCl, or a base, 0.1 molar NaOH, or a neutral ionic compound, 0.10 molar NaCl, to bromothymol blue, a weak organic acid. We first created the solution of one milliliter of bromothymol blue at 25 milliliters of H2O. Since the bromothymol blue formula is so long, we have abbreviated it to HPBTB in its undissociated form and BTB in its dissociated form. HBTB is yellow and BTB is blue. The bromothymol compound turns yellow when it acts as an acid or has an extra H plus ion represented by the H, and turns blue when this ion dissociates from the bromothymol blue. This can be seen in this image. When HCl reacts with the bromothymol blue, which is this compound, it first dissociates, the HCl dissociates, as you can see here, and then the H from the HCl combines with the bromothymol blue to turn it yellow. To cause stress, we added varying amounts of HCl, one drop, two drops, and three drops, to five milliliters of the water in BTB solution. All had similar reactions of turning bright yellow. Since HCl is a strong acid, it dissociates completely into H plus and Cl minus, which the H plus bonds with BTB and turns yellow. Adding more HCl would cause the equation to shift more to the right and create more HBTB to balance out the stress. In this equation, Cl minus is insignificant and does not play a role in turning BTB into HBTB. This can also be demonstrated by the relationship between K and Q. For this equation, Q equals the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants. And Q equals also the same equation, but the concentration of HCl will be higher since we added more HCl throughout the experiment. This creates a, large, a smaller number than K because the denominator is larger, making Q less than K and the reactants in excess. So once the reactants are in excess, the equation must shift to the right to balance out the stress. Okay, and so now we add NaOH to the system. And so first we added one drops, two drops, and then three drops. And so the original equation is BTB plus H plus is in equilibrium with HBTB plus. And then so when we added NaOH, since NaOH dissociates completely into OH and Na plus, then the H plus combines with the OH to form H2O, and so that leaves H no that leaves BTB alone, and then so that's right here, um, and so that's why the uh, solution turns blue, and then also the NH from here is insignificant as well. And so since any OH is an excess, that means that the reaction quotient is greater than K because the numerator is greater. And so since Q is greater than K, then that means the reaction would shift left, turning the reaction blue. Lastly, we will talk about the effects of NaCl on the BTB solution. NaCl is an ionic salt, which is neutral, so it has little to no effect on the reaction. We observed in the experiment 
that when we added one to three drops of NaCl to the BTV, there was no color change. This means that the pH of BTV was not affected. Following this, there was no reaction taking place between the BTV and the NaCl. Because there was no reaction, the K value would be equivalent to the Q value, thus maintaining the equilibrium. In the experiment, we added an excess of NaCl to see if the amount of NaCl affects the equilibrium of the reaction. We observed that after 186 drops, the solution turned green. Upon conducting further research, we discovered that BTV acts as a weak acid in reactions because it can be protonated in protonated or deprotonated de form. We also discovered that NaCl sorry, we also discovered that NaCl ranges between 5.6 and 8.4 in pH, depending on the concentration of the NaCl. So if the concentration of NaCl increases, then so does the pH, so it becomes more basic as the concentration increases. Um, when we added an excess of NaCl, we increased the concentration, creating a weak base. Thus, by adding it to the weak acid, BTB, we neutralize the weak base of NaCl, causing the solution to turn more green or more neutral. In the video, do we need to talk it out, or can we just have, like, text? Not like, adding text HCl. Text is okay? No, talk it out. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Now we're adding more NaOH to see, at a different concentration, to see the effect of a change in concentration. Neutralize the acid. Now we're testing to see the effect of the change in concentration of NaCl in the mixture of NaCl with HCl. Since NaCl is neutral, there is no change. Now we're testing. Since we determined that both, since NaCl is neutral, both the mixture of HCl and NaCl and NaOH and NaCl will take the concentration of HCl and NaOH. And now we are seeing the effect of more HCl on the mixture between NaOH and HCl. Here we can see that the NaOH and HCl are first working to neutralize each other, and now it's becoming more acidic. After observing changes made to the equilibrium, we added varying amounts of both NaOH and HCl, which had a greater influence in the color in order to create a green neutral solution. In our case, we weren't able to get the green neutral solution, color solution. And since green is only seen in a very small part of the pH scale, it is not surprising that most of our mixtures were either dark blue or yellow. And if we had experimented further with different molarities of HCl, NaCl, and NaOH, we may have been able to create a wider variety of colors.